Let's paint a scenario. You're at this bustling party, right? People all around, music pumping, laughter echoing through the airwaves. But here's the kicker. Amidst all this party pandemonium, you're experiencing the loneliness equivalent of being stranded on a deserted island. I mean, seriously, isn't it a bit odd that in an era where you can practically summon a friend with a swipe and a click, so many of us feel like we're starring in our own solo show? Now hold on to your party hats because we're about to embark on a quest that's more epic than trying to find your missing sock in the laundry. We're diving headfirst into the grand mystery of why we feel like the last slice of pizza at a party always left behind. But fear not, dear viewers, for I bring you a timeless secret sauce that can change the entire game of connection and fulfillment. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ultimate journey through the marvelous world of Stoicism. Yes, that's right. The wisdom of long-dead philosophers is about to become your GPS through the maze of modern loneliness. So let's unravel this tangled ball of yarn together, shall we? Let me take you back a few years. There I was, sitting in a cafe, surrounded by a sea of people, all engrossed in their screens. And guess what? Yours truly was right there with them, in the digital days. We were physically present, yet our minds were lost in our own little pixelated universes. It was a light bulb moment, folks. This, my friends, is the paradox of our oh-so-modern age. We're living in an era where we can FaceTime with friends on the other side of the planet while waiting in line for coffee. We're seemingly closer, yet somehow, we're still galaxies apart. That warm and fuzzy feeling of belonging, of someone truly getting you, it often feels like a rare unicorn sighting. And that's when I started digging into the treasure chest of Stoic wisdom. You see, Stoicism isn't just about putting on your tough guy or tough gal face and gritting your teeth through life's challenges. Nah, it's a whole lot deeper than that. It's about finding your inner Zen master, your personal sense of worth and serenity. Now hold on to your brain cells because here comes the grand riddle of our times. In a world where you can hop on a Zoom call with someone from the Amazon rainforest while sipping your morning latte, why does it seem like we're all stuck in a giant game of hide and seek? It's like you're in a room crammed with people but it feels like you're the invisible protagonist in a sci-fi movie. You reach out, but it's like your messages are teleported to the Bermuda Triangle of communication. This, my friends, is more than just a fleeting moment of solitude. It's like there's a gaping hole in the quilt of our connections, where our deep-seated need for genuine recognition and understanding disappears without a trace. I've been there too, lost in the endless scroll of social media and surrounded by folks on the subway who might as well be holograms. But guess what? There's a glimmer of hope on the horizon, and it comes from the most unexpected of places, a dusty old philosophy from ancient times. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to your new BFF, Stoicism. Now let's dive into the nitty-gritty of bringing this stoic magic into our daily lives, especially when it comes to our human connections. It all begins with grasping that being someone's priority isn't about throwing a tantrum or demanding a red carpet of attention. It's about showing up genuinely, offering a depth of character that goes way beyond the surface-level small talk. As we nurture our inner virtues, something magical happens we start attracting connections that aren't just skin deep. These are the kind of folks who value us for the quirky, imperfect beings we are, not just for the favors we can dole out. So let's challenge ourselves to shift the spotlight from the how many people like me stage to the am I staying true to myself arena. And guess what? As we embark on this epic shift, our relationships transform into something deeper, richer, and more soul-nourishing. It's like upgrading from fast food to a gourmet feast for the heart. That's the stoic superpower in action. It helps us sift through the genuine gems from the glittery distractions, placing us firmly in the hearts of those who truly matter. 
take a gander at Thomas Edison, the king of resilience himself. This guy faced more flops than a clumsy circus performer, yet he never let it cramp his style. In fact, he once quipped, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. His value wasn't hitched to the wagon of applause. It came from his unyielding quest for innovation. Enter Stoicism, our trusty lighthouse in this stormy sea of external validation. It takes the modern idea of hunting for gold stars from the world and flips it on its head. Instead, it invites us to turn inward to embark on a profound journey of self-discovery. Here, your worth isn't determined by the number of likes you snag on your latest Instagram post. It's rooted in your own virtues and the actions you take. Now let's take a moment to shine a spotlight on a virtue that often hides in the shadows, patience. This little gem holds a special place in the heart of stoicism. In our turbocharged world, where everything's delivered at the speed of light, learning to savor the unhurried, steady tempo of life is like discovering a secret superpower. Stoicism doesn't just slap a patience is a virtue sticker on it. It invites us to make patience our way of life. It's about realizing that our time, my friends, is precious real estate. And we shouldn't just be handing out free tours left and right. Picture this. I used to be in the always on club, checking emails at ungodly hours responding to messages like a human notification center and saying yes to every coffee date under the sun. Then, one fine day, I decided to slam the brakes. I started setting boundaries, carving out pockets of time just for yours truly. It wasn't a walk in the park initially, but something truly magical happened. People began to respect my time more. They got it. My availability was like a limited edition item, and this added an extra sprinkle of meaning and focus to our interactions. This is Stoicism in Action, teaching the world the worth of our time by demonstrating how we cherish it ourselves. And then, there's the superpower of solitude, like when I ventured on a solo hike through the untamed woods, choosing to unplug to be one with nature and my own thoughts felt like breaking free from the shackles of our always connected culture. It was a living testament to stoic wisdom that our inner peace and resilience don't come from the endless applause or constant company of others. They spring from the depths of our own souls. In our rush rush culture, embracing stoic patience is a bold statement. It's about rejecting the role of always available and showing the world that there's more to life than instant gratification. This shift in our approach to time and presence can work wonders for our relationships. It elevates them from mere surface level exchanges to profound interactions steeped in respect and genuine interest. This is the beating heart of stoicism creating breathing room for relationships to blossom in depth and authenticity rather than just quantity. It's a reminder that sometimes less is more, especially when it comes to the precious gifts of our time and attention. Stoicism champions independence and self-governance, traits that draw those who value strength and integrity closer to us. This journey of self-governance is all about setting healthy boundaries and putting our own needs front and center. All right, folks, let's roll up our sleeves and get practical. Here are some nifty tools we've covered in our Stoic Toolkit. Daily Reflection. It's like your daily pit stop for self-assessment. Take a moment to ponder your actions, your virtues, and those areas where you can level up. Stoic Journaling. Grab a journal and let those thoughts flow. Write down your musings, your reactions, and the progress you're making in applying Stoic wisdom. It's your personal epic saga. Mindfulness meditation. Time to zen out, but with a Stoic twist. Practice mindfulness while focusing on Stoic themes like acceptance, the ever-changing nature of things, and the wellspring of inner strength within you. Setting technology boundaries. It's time to show your gadgets who's boss. 
consciously dial back on tech use to ditch distractions and dive headfirst into real-world engagement. You'll be amazed at what you'll discover when you're not glued to your screen. Voluntary discomfort practice. Buckle up because this one's a game changer. Deliberately step out of your comfort zone. Embrace the challenging and the uncomfortable. It's like a workout for your resilience muscle. And it'll help you appreciate the beauty of simplicity. Gratitude exercises. This is all about flipping the script. Instead of focusing on what's lacking, practice gratitude to shine a spotlight on the blessings already in your life. It's a powerful shift in perspective. Intentional social engagement. When you're out and about, make your interactions count. It's not about counting how many Facebook friends you have. It's about going deep and forging authentic connections. Now, as we wrap up this grand adventure, remember one thing. Your worth isn't determined by the number of thumbs up emojis you collect from the virtual peanut gallery. It's rooted in your inner virtues and the principles you live by. By applying stoic wisdom, you're not just navigating the distractions of this world. You're building bridges to genuine connections and cultivating a self-esteem that's as solid as a rock. But here's the plot twist. Our journey doesn't end here. In fact, it's just the beginning. If you found this odyssey enlightening and hunger for more philosophical pondering, here's your golden ticket. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Join our ever-expanding community as we continue to explore the depths of Stoicism in the modern world and beyond. Thank you for embarking on this epic quest with us.